Hello everybody, this is a AutoCAD tutorial. I'm going to teach a little bit how to use it, how to insert an image, how to scale, use layers, align and have a grid. First thing you need to attach your image. So you need to find your image. You need to have a AutoCAD file and open the image, just going attach, click in the workspace and raster the mouse till you think it's a good scale. Just do another click. We need to send it back, so you need to select the image. And uh, don't forget to change the layer. Your workspace organize. Send the back. Uh, send the image to back. And we are going to use now the command align. So always you need to use from the image you select to the draw because you don't want to change the draw of the you don't want to change the scale of the draw just the image okay so we just use it two points we, we are using two basic points here now we are going to use the x line so the you just type xl and you are going to create a uh, infinite line and they are going to ask if you want the lines in horizontal or vertical but you can do in uh, with angle like this and now you are going to use the offset common I'm going to use uh, 20 meters here because it's uh, a urban scale. We are going to create a PL polyline. And I'm going to draw like the main point here in this plaza. I'm using it as an example. Now, uh, I'm going to do uh, the garden here. I'm going to use the mirror to copy, uh, like to create a axle here in the plaza. Now, I'm going to use the two stretch because I already have the midpoint of the plaza and now I'm going to use the same rectangle to down so I'm going to be like this now I'm going to delete text lines because I don't need the grid anymore I'm going to delete the image now we have a simple draw I'm going to hatch the full plaza the full I'm going to add a texture like concrete because I, I like to represent my grass like this and we have in, after the AutoCAD 2015 the option to use a, a background in the hatches so I always use with the white color because we are going to use different hatches one the top of the another so to don't get mess like this you need to organize your hatches okay don't forget never forget to organize your layers Now we are going to create a group because you don't want the draw be lost so you just need to select the objects do you want press G enter type the name you want 
and done, like this. So now the group is going to move together and you can lock, frozen, whatever do you want. So thank you to watch this tutorial. I hope this is useful for you guys. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, send me questions. Thank you. Bye bye.